Hello, my name is Neve. I'm in Korea and we're going shopping in my favorite shop in the entire world ever. So let's go. When you first walk in, you usually have the seasonal goods. It's summertime, so they have like, you know, towel ponchos, inflatables, pouches for toiletry stuff. These swim shoes. Everything you'd need for a fun hot girl summer, basically. Cages for collecting bugs. This is so Animal Crossing coded. Wow. I needed a scissors the other day, and surprisingly, there were no cute scissors, just regular ones. For decorating photo cards or just regular photos. I love these pens. They're like Daiso version of those Stabilo pens, I think they're called. Everything you'd need to be creative. Look at this what? pencil case. What? It's a plushy phone. How much? 3,000. What's it called? Snoopy. Pretty sure there's more pencil cases elsewhere. This is just kind of like the pen section. The most expensive thing in here is 5,000 won. And then we have like 3,000 won, 1,000 won, 2,000 won. Some stuff is 500, like snacks. Daiso merch for all the super fans. We got Daiso Lego. This cute Daiso worker plushie. I'm getting one of these. Daiso stickers. There's a basket, but it's sold out like everywhere and I want it so badly. Tiny functional vending machines. They also have some great dollhouse sets. I wonder would these be the right size for a Sunny Angel? Though I guess Sunny Angel can only really lie down. He cannot sit. Oh, Korean Gate, the tower. Let's actually go this way. I want her clothes to put on a sunny angel. Tons and tons of cute plushies. Normally the plushies are 5,000 just because they're bigger. Look at this chicken, my goodness. 5,000. Smaller ones that you can clip onto your bag. These ones are normally 2,000. And then the tiny ones like this are 1,000. This buff guy. Wow. What even is this? A deer? Was he a dragon? Donkey! Wrapping paper, you don't need wrapping paper. Look at these cute pouches, they have cheese, four pack, or strawberry milk. Oh my god, I want these. What would I do with them? I have no idea, but I want them. I wonder if these could be used in sewing too. Oh, that reminds me, I'm just getting needle and thread because the zipper on my suitcase is busted. You get four meters for 1,000 won. Or two, or pencils. 
Sherpa. A 32 gigabyte USB stick for 5,000 won. I need this. I'm also in the market for a tripod, but a small one, because I have a huge one, but I want a mini one. Maybe something like this. I think I'll go with this one because it can stretch to one meter and I assume as small as I want to and it can be held like this. My favorite sweets to buy while I'm here. I love the peach, the apple, the strawberry. They also have grape, but it's not my favorite. And I can say Poksunga, Sagwa. One of the Sunny Angels has this on their head. I've been on a real watermelon flavor sweet buzz lately and I got some of these the other day and they were delish. So let's get some more. And they also have an extensive selection of instant noodles. 1,000, 1,500. Multi-packs. Actually, I wonder if they have some seaweed here. I would like to eat that. For these little strawberry coated almonds that they have. I don't see them. Oh, I might have to try a mango. That sounds yummy. Also tried these recently. So good. Oh la la. Are these just those but individual? Let's get someone to find out. These aren't Korean, but they're so delicious, and the price here is unbeatable. Thank you. I've left the snacks like five times. I'm pretty sure they do not have the almonds. Wow, look at this foot swing for the plane. I'm intrigued. Oh, it goes over my table. Ooh, I kind of want one of these because I'm just really paranoid my suitcase is going to bust open. Tennis socks. Tennis bags. Tennis balls. Ooh. Oh, wow, wait, this is clever. It goes around your waist and you can fill it with tennis balls. Do you think I could successfully transport this mirror home in this gorgeous green color? It's 5,000. Tons of these empty bottles for toiletries. Here we are, my sister really likes these fake nails, but don't be fooled, a lot of them are actually for your toes, but some of them are for your fingers. But when I got these the other day, you're gonna test them out. They were 3,000. I want all of these tiny perfume flavors, but I'm getting carried away, my basket's getting super full. This tattoo tint lip thing I swatched the other day and it would not budge. So I imagine it would last a hot minute. Cute plasters. I will say Artbox has a wider selection of cute plasters, but Daiso is cheaper. I want these cute tissues, but the packets are so long and big. So I might just have to get the cute bamboo and the Hair accessories, headbands, bobbins, claw clips, these little elastics in fun colors and regular. And they also have a kids section. Little puppy. Oh, ice cream scoops, that's fun. I'm 
Snoopy. They're actually loving Snoopy at the minute too. More photo book stuff. The Cacao Friends range. I love it. Winnie the Pooski and Disney section. was evil. I haven't seen all the movies, so he's having a redemption, I guess. Oh, I love Judy Hopps. I love the fake flower slash plant section. Some of them look really good. And by some of them, to me, I think majority of them look super cute. Like these little bouquets are only 1,000. I love fake flowers. I know some people are really anti-fake, but like flowers that last forever. Yes, please adorable plant pots or scary ones big sizes like Yankee ones are 5,000 and I'm pretty sure they have mini too they've got scented tiny tea lights Twelve or a thousand, or yes, they have some this size or these kind of size. This section smells so yummy. They also have some of the cutest mugs here. Something about this combo of purple and white just gets me every time. I think I'm gonna check out now because it's getting late. Welcome to the haul portion of the video. My flat lay is ready, so let's dive into the items I purchased in Daiso. Firstly, we have the cosmetic section. We have a packet of fake nails. These are like a cloud, kind of a raindrop diamante, and then some ombre gradient blue nude nails. Coffin style, you get 24 nails. You don't need glue, they have a sticky adhesive tab, and these are 3001. Then the rest are a selection of lip products. We have this candy gloss tint, which is a collab with this brand that I don't know how to pronounce, but I have seen before because they make those sheet masks that look like cartons of milk. This is in the shade shade one cherry looks like this that came in three shades and i think this was 2001 then i just have a very simple not too exciting spf 15 lip balm a lip essence strawberry lip gloss this is just clear and strawberry scented why am i showing you can't see anything and lastly i have this 1001 pencil lip liner in the shade berry chiffon pinky nude it's plastic retractable the makeup and daiso you really can't go wrong at the price cheap and cheerful i feel like this section is cosmetic adjacent maybe health and well-being first up some packets of tissues with this adorable little panda and look how tiny they are then i have cute Polasters. These two boxes are the same for designs, but the peach ones, I believe, are the smaller size and Ryan is the bigger size. There's those. That's the bigger size. And then the rubber ducky ones were 1001, but these ones are three different shapes. So regular plaster, skinny one, and a circle. You can kind of see them there. For my extremely miniature tech section, we only have two things. A 32 gigabyte USB stick that I bought for 5,001 and a humble yet effective handheld black tripod. I have no complaints so far. Pretty small size, you know, change the leg length. I'm happy with it. Technology. Up next, I have some sewing supplies, fasteners, needles, seam rippers, fabric marking, pens and pencils, and some nylon thread, which I had never used before, but I was like, damn, you could literally make a wig from this. I pretty much bought this stuff because I was very on edge that my suitcase, the zipper, was gonna pop open. So I thought to myself, at least if there's some poppers, that may help keep the zipper closed, and hopefully my suitcase will not pop open. So I stayed up really late one night sewing these on with this needle and this thread. The needles, this is actually their packaging. It was 1001 for 30 needles, and it came with a threader, which I have used so much that I actually broke it. Also 1000, how much is that? 10 pack. 
I think the seam rippers were 1000 these pencils were 1000 I don't love these. I've tried to use them a few times and I feel like I can't get them to make an adequate mark. And then I got these fabric pens that were 1000 each. The pink one, something has gone horribly wrong. It is spilling everywhere. The blue one, however, is normal. And those are all my sewing supplies. Thought I'd show them together because even if you're interested in sewing, I didn't buy anything too fascinating or innovative. Now I have some accessories. First up is a luggage tag. It's a fluffy bunny, some embroidered details, and then this pink fake leather strap to clip it on. I got this purple hair bow because it matches really well with this purple dress I have. It's this style clip though, which these stress me out a little bit. This was 1001 as well. And then I got a two pack, but I only have one here, of this blue and white pattern bow. This is this style clip, which I find a lot easier to put in. And I just got some colourful elastics. You get 200 for 1001. I love putting these in my hair. You do a little plait and then you put a fun coloured elastic. Then I got this little necklace. It is a tiny black heart with a little silver bow. This was 2001. I'm actually going to take it out because I'm curious about the length. Okay, it seems pretty standard. Well, last in the accessory section, I got this little keyring. It's a tiger in traditional Korean clothing, and I believe these are those biscuits that I forget the name of. 1001, and it's adorable. Now I think we should move on to bags. Firstly for the bags, I got this foldable shopping bag that neatly folds into this little pouch with a hook. I also purchased it in the same, but pink. Oh, the pink one is so cute. Look at the bears. I got so much use out of these while I was in Korea. If I was planning to do a lot of shopping, I would just fold them up, take them with me, and I've used them since coming home as well, obviously. I love these. Next up, we have this little purple bag. When I was using it, I, I wasn't loving this, so I added my own doodads and was just holding it backwards. A little Miffy pouch and this keyring that I got in Korea like two years ago. This bag is tiny. But it's so fun and it has so many colours. Then we have this bag. I'll insert some better photos from the Daiso collection. It says, oh, it's my playground since 1997. Scent store. And it has a tiny mini red shopping bag charm that you can actually put stuff in. This bag is sturdy. Like, do you see? It holds its own shape. Another beautiful bag is this mesh sheer. Would this count as embroidery? It has gorgeous little white and gold daisies and then pink detailing. It's a good size but because of the material I wouldn't expect it to hold too much. Let's do some stationery. A roll of I think it was 100 stickers. We have a winky bear, rainbow, regular bear, flower and a smiley face and I saw a viral tweet the other day featuring these stickers which I was like oh my god that's my bestie. I know her. I have her. Then I have the pastel version of the pens I showed in the video. It's a pack of 12 to 2001. This is what they look like. And I do also have to share the regular colours. I didn't buy these this time. I bought these quite a while ago, but you may be interested. There's the colour selection. I love these pens. I used them just recently to make this gorgeous card for one of my besties. And this is random, but I got these really cute magnets. It was a three pack for 1001. It has a little bag of crisps, can of drink, and two teddy bears pushing a trolley. I'm just such a sucker for cute magnets. It's true. The rest of my stationary bits are Daiso themed from the Daiso selection. Two sets of of stickers. You get four sheets in a packet, 1001 each. And one thing I have to point out that has me absolutely gagged, this sticker is of the tennis display they had in store. And I'm like, wow, I literally bought these things. I've actually seen a child in real life sitting in a Daiso basket just like this. They also had these. 1001 each. You can build them like this. You put the base and you click in Daiso on the worker. But then you can also make little fun keychains with the ones with loops. And they also have this design, which is more in store receipt basket. Somehow they end up in my basket and I'm at the till. And lastly, from the Daiso spread, they had a little washi tape set 1000 for the two pack. One is Daiso money and one is kind of a receipt theme. Oh, Daiso is a market in South Korea where you can purchase a variety of everyday items, accessories, and household goods at affordable prices. Daiso is popular among many people due to its economical prices and diverse product selection. That is a great description. Okay, now we're back at the start. Oh, the other one is actually not washi tape. They're actually stickers. So there's a coin. 
1,000 notes, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, and another coin. My second last category before I move on to absolute random stuff is the tennis section. They were doing, as you saw on the Daiso sticker, a tennis special promo. Focus on tennis and summer sports. So I stocked up on some stuff. I got some tape for wrapping my tennis racket handle, purple and pink, 1,000 won each. You get two and they are 110 centimeters x 2.5 centimeters. This attaches to your waistband and then holds a tennis ball. Technically, this could have been in my accessory category. It's a yellow bunny. He's playing tennis. There's his ball. 1,000. Had a few characters. Yellow bunny, blue bear, pink. Is that a cat maybe? Then I got this little circle drawstring blue bag that says, nice partner, see you on court. And inside I have both the pink and blue tennis balls that Daiso were selling. Three pack of tennis balls, see you on court. Then I don't know how I'm gonna show this, but I also got the bag that I was looking at that goes around your waist and you can store tennis balls in. I got a really cute tennis plushie. It's a tennis ball wearing a tennis hat and I have them clipped onto my tennis bag. Then I have two tennis bags, which are gonna be hard to show. I think I'm just gonna put pictures on screen of my tennis bags. One is kind of backpack style. And what I love about their tennis racket bags, they all fit two tennis rackets, which is so handy because everyone who I force to play tennis with me doesn't own any tennis equipment, so I bring the rackets. Has a main body pouch and then the racket pouch. And you can also change the strap to go left side or right side, if that makes sense. Last but not least, we have the random category, which features one of my favorite items. I got this little doll. <laughs> this was 1001, and I pretty much bought this to steal all her accessories and clothes to put on my Sunny Angels, which is why she's currently barefoot. Then I got two see-through pouches for toiletries. It's got a cute fluffy bunny playing tennis and pink details, and this one is black with the same fluffy bunny, but it says, let's drink coffee and talk about happy things, and she has a tiny croissant. Then I did buy the clear pouches I was admiring, the cheese and the strawberry milk. They're just so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna put inside, but I will find use for them. Mark my words. Then I have this nifty case. It's a peach again from Cacao Friends, and it has chopsticks, a fork, and a spoon. They have these handy holders, so it won't be rattling around. Everything just fits in perfectly. Last but not least, my absolute favorite item, this plate that's shaped like a slice of bread with a little bread and coffee illustration. Guys, you don't understand. I bought this back in 2022. I was so happy. Then on the way to the airport, my suitcase fell over, and when I looked in my Bag, not even thinking much later I found my plate smashed to pieces I was devastated then I was back in Korea two times since then couldn't find the plate it must have been limited edition I'm never getting my plate I went this time and I found it and they had so many so it must not be limited edition it's regular and I love it that's the random section of my video but low-key maybe the best that is absolutely everything well I did buy snacks of course but they've been consumed. Other than the snacks, I'm pretty sure that is everything I purchased in Daiso. I love Daiso. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little shop with me vlog and hopefully I will see you 